Hey there, Senorita Christopher here, coming to you with another lesson. Today we're going to be learning about El Preterito. You might be wondering, what does El Preterito mean? El Preterito is a tense, you, a verb tense that is used. It refers to things that happened in the past. So if we were to have a timeline of events, we have our past, our present, and our future. Our present is what's happening right now. Our future is something that's going to happen. Right now, we're talking about what already happened. So, like I just mentioned, se usa para hablar de eventos que ya ocurrió, lo que ocurrió en el pasado. All right, so we already learned about our present tense. Rebecca saca fotos, el presente. Right now, we're learning about el preterito. Rebecca sacó fotos. And we also have our future tense, Rebecca va a sacar fotos. So there you can see in a sentence the difference between the verb. It's all the same verb, but it's just a different tense. I summarize our steps into three when we're going, from, when we're trying to conjugate a verb in the preterite tense. Uno, identificar a verbo. Dos, identificar el sujeto y tres, cambiar la terminación. All right, so when we're conjugating verbs, it's important for us to know what are our rules? What are our endings that we'll typically see? So I've created this chart for you to see the verb patterns. Notice that the hyphen in the chart means that there are letters usually in front of it. All right, so we have our root of the word and we have our ending. It doesn't literally mean that the word is AR and then you use one of these endings. It means it ends in AR or ER or IR, and that's when these endings come into play. Vamos a hacer algunos ejemplos. Let's do some examples. Aterrizar means to land. Let's make this into a sentence and say the plane landed. El avión aterrizar. Going through our steps, first we have to identificar el verbo. Let's identify our verb, aterrizar. Then, paso dos, we have to identificar el sujeto, el avión. The subject of the sentence is always the who or what doing the action. What is landing? The plane is landing. In step number three, tenemos que cambiar la terminación. We have to change the ending. Well, remember, our original verb aterrizar was an AR verb. So we're going to go to the part of the chart that says AR. Going in that column, that means that the verb ended in AR. Then we identify our subject as el avión, which is one person or thing. Whenever the subject is one person or thing, our ending is going to become O with an X mark. So again, we changed our ending from aterrizar, we removed that AR and we replaced it with O, aterrizo. Now, I know that can be a lot to take in, so let's do a few more examples. What if we wanted to say you fastened your seatbelt? Tú abrochar el cinturón de seguridad. Right now, the, ver the verb in our sentence doesn't have any tense. It doesn't say fastened, it says to fasten. We need to change that verb to the preterite tense. Here are our three steps again. Identificar el verbo, identificar el sujeto y cambiar la terminación. First, identifying our verb. Our verb is abrochar. Typically, our verbs end in AR, ER, or IR. So when you have a sentence and you're trying to figure out which one of these words you change, try to find the word that ends in AR, ER, or IR. In this case, it ends in AR. Paso dos, identificar el sujeto. Now we have to identify our subject. Our subject, who is fastening their seatbelt? Tú. That's the person that's doing the action, do. Now, we're going to change our ending. So we identified our verb as an AR verb, and we're 
remove that ending so we can get ready to put our new ending. We're using the AR part of the chart because it originally ended in AR and our subject was do. And we go where those two things intersect, do and AR. So our new ending would be aste. Tu abrochaste el cinturón de seguridad. Feeling a little bit more comfortable yet? Okay, good. But let's just do another example just to be sure. Pasar por el control de seguridad. Going through security. You want to say that the people went through security. Let's do the example. Los pasajeros pasar por el control de seguridad. Take a moment and think. Which one of those words in that sentence will be el verbo? Identificar el verbo. Pasar is the verb. Step number two, identificar el sujeto. Who will be going through the security? Los pasajeros. Now, even if you didn't know what los pasajeros mean, Typically, the subject comes right before the verb in the sentence. But I happen to take a snapshot of the vocab list so that you can see that el pasajero means passenger. Paso tres, cambiar la terminación. So we're going to change our ending for our third step. So remember, we're going to remove the AR and put our new ending. All right, so AR was our verb ending. We're using that column. Los pasajeros, even if we didn't know that that meant passengers, it ends in an S. So it's fair to say that it's two or more people. So we go to our chart where it's two or more people for our AR verb, and our new ending becomes Los pasajeros pas pasaron por el control de seguridad. La práctica. Dun, dun, dun. Now it's time for you to do some practice on your own. Now, don't be overly concerned of whether or not you know what the words mean. The basic premise of this exercise is to see that you know how to conjugate the verbs in the preterite tense. Don't worry, I have confidence in you that you get the examples. Are you ready? Let's begin. Three, two, one. All right. So we're gonna conjugate the verbs in the preterite tense. Here are our three sentences. Yo, facturar el equipaje. El profesor nos mostrar un video. Y nosotros abordar el avión. And just to give you a little bit more assistance, I've taken a screenshot of our notes and put it in the corner for you to be able to conjugate. Remember our three steps. Identificar el verbo. Identificar el sujeto y cambiar la terminación. In case you need a little bit more of a hint to identify our verbs, remember, our verbs typically end in AR, ER, or IR. But if you need a little bit more assistance, I'll highlight it for you. Pause the video now to do the examples. All right, it's the moment of truth. Let's see how you did. This should be your answer. Yo facturé el equipaje. El profesor nos mostró un video. Nosotros abordamos el avión. All right, that's the end of our lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or you can email me at senoritachristopher at gmail.com and I'll be happy to assist you. All right, if you like this video, stay tuned for more. Like this video and also you can subscribe to my page to be notified of other videos in the future. Thanks so much guys. See you next time.